Hello and welcome to High Ground Gaming. This is Eric. Today we're going to do another unboxing of a game we backed on Kickstarter. Um, the game is called Barrage and it comes with uh, an expansion and a 3D game board. Uh, I believe the 3D game board is the one on the left there. And then in the middle is the actual base game. And uh, the uh, expansion, the uh, Leewald Project, the Leechwald Project. Late Wald, I think, um, is the expansion on the right there. Uh, sorry for the glare there. It's got a little, it's a little shiny uh, um, plastic there with the light in the office. So, but anyway, it's uh, Barrage by Cranio Games, and um, it's a much anticipated game that I had about um, building dams. Um, you know, you're a country uh, with uh, asymmetrical powers, and uh, you're you have to manage your resources in order to um, build dams and create electric power, um, hydroelectric power, uh, that kind of stuff. Um, but anyway, uh, it's a definitely a highly anticipated game of Kickstarter. Um, got some great reviews as far as gameplay goes and everything. Um, the components had a little bit of some issues with them with the uh, with some of the wheels in there, but they are working on replacing those. Um, but anyway, I have not opened it yet, so I'm not sure exactly uh, what what the exact issue is yet. But I'll take a look at the uh, components and uh, let you guys know because this is an unboxing. So I've been one we've uh, you know mentioned before on our channel that we were going to do, and uh, we're finally getting around to it today. So anyway, um, we're going to start with the base game, and then we're going to open up the expansion, and then the uh, 3D game board. Um, now, the 3D game board um, probably is going to come just in the pieces, or it's not going to be assembled yet. We have to assemble that, I believe, um, which takes some time. But anyway, let's start with the base game here. So we'll get rid of everything else. All right, so here is the base game barrage. Apologize for the, uh, <laughs> looks like our camera is a little bit off center there. Hold on there. All right, that's a little bit better. All right, there we go. All right, so there is the Barrage, uh, a game by, of course, I'm not going to be able to read it, Tomasio Batizia and Simone Luciani. Uh, I think the artwork was by Antonio. Yeah, it looks like a little brush there. By Antonio De Luca. Again, published by Cranio Games. So let's take a look at the back here. So it's definitely a big, thick box here. All right, so let's take a look at it here. So it's 1920, and so the water revolution begins. It's 1922. The cannons of the Great War have been silent for four years now. World War One. The world is recovering, arising from the ashes at the speed of new industries, energy, and the legacy of the grand Nikola Tesla. A new war fought in the valleys of the Alps is about to begin. Will you manage to beat all your opponents and build the biggest hydroelectric empire the world has ever known? Barrage is an epic water replacement strategy game. Up to four players will compete in five rounds by planning their constructions actions to build hydroelectric infrastructure on an articulated and challenging game map. You must place your structures wisely in order to prevent your opponents from stealing the most precious re resource there is, water. By controlling water, you'll be able to produce energy and fulfill profitable contracts. Carefully plan each move, but be ready to build strategic, to make bold strategic choices. This is Barrage. All right, so it gives it, listen to the components here. And again, this just came out this year. Um, just received it about a month ago, maybe or so ago. So it is for one to four players. 14 plus is the age. That's definitely a little bit higher of a learning curve. 
and um, approximately two hours or so. So I'm not sure how accurate that is. Um, all right, so let's open it up here. So definitely a nice, thick, heavy box here. Well, a little bit of denting in there. In the weight. Now I've heard that the box is a little bit, a little bit flimsy, but we'll see. It doesn't appear to be too bad. Definitely uh, a thick box. Right, let's see what we got here to start with. So a little flyer here, dear barrage owner, included in the box you'll find a special thicker punch board with a complete set of technology tiles. This was a last-minute correction to the game asset. It's meant to improve the quality, usability of the construction wheel. Oh, so maybe, maybe this does have the uh, have the improved construction wheel. We'll see. So please unpunch all the components from the punch boards, set aside the thinner technology tiles, and use the thicker ones. Okay. So maybe this does have the uh, the improved thing. I'll have to find that out. So that's nice. So maybe we lucked out and got the better uh, components there. Let's see, so we got the rule book here, which is kind of interesting having a lot of text on the rule book. Usually it's a picture of some kind, but that's okay. So let me move this to the side here. I guess we'll do it that way. So it's a pretty thick rule book. Looks like it's 27, 28 pages, so including the credits. So we'll take a look through that. So there's a list of all your components. There's the map there. And this, again, it does have the, uh, it's a double-sided map. But I do have a 3D version of it, too, in the in the other box, too. I got the uh, the upgraded Kickstarter edition. Um, so, like, the, I guess the deluxe version, I guess you could call it, or the add-on. So this is the construction wheel, which they said they had some issues with. I guess what it was is that there's, it's, it's in the center here, it's got a, uh, like, a pin that holds it down and when it spins, it doesn't spin that great, but uh, I guess what they're doing is they're reforming it so that it doesn't have that um, pin in the middle, it's just on the sides, it's a little bit uh, maybe stiffer or whatever, or um, so that when it spins it doesn't um, you know, force tension on the wheel or something to do with that, something to do with the spinning I think on the wheel. Um, but anyway, so there's a, these are the uh, Different components, these are things you'll put in the wheel, along with workers, and you spin the workers and you get the workers back after a series of turns, So, um, which is nice, it recycles your resources so you don't lose them. Um, but anyway, um, so it's got a double-sided map management board, um, all kinds of different things, bonus tiles, ob objectives, neutral bases, contract tiles, all kinds of stuff here. Um, these are the different dams and everything and as you can you can't really see that well but they're different for each um, company depending upon your player color and what country you come from um, they come from they're different somewhat unique so that's kind of neat but the asymmetrical countries uh, aim of the game so it gives you the uh, which is nice to have at the beginning to know what you're shooting for um, important concepts Nice color illustrations of how things work and everything. Rule book concepts. And there's some advanced rules too. I know there's a, there's a solo version for this too, which is very nice, which is one of the reasons why I backed it. I like to have a solo version in there along with the multiplayer. So there's how you set things up there on the board. And there's your players right there. So you get to play as either the USA, Germany, Italy, or France. In the initial game, I, I think the expansion adds some, um, uh, like a, other players or other you can play as, possibly a, possibly a fifth player. I'm not sure exactly how that works, um, but we'll see as we go. So it tells you how to make your income, your actions, how you put things on the wheel, plains, hills, and mountains. How to build on those. Let's flip through the rest of this. Production efforts, water management, contract office, water flow, 
scoring, all important scoring. End of the round, end of the game. Appendices, what the different icons mean, I imagine. Company boards, basic symbols. Executive officer tiles, so you have executive offices in addition to your um, main country there. Special effects and more appendices and appendices and everything. Appendix, objective objective tiles, and then finally the credits on the back. All right, very cool. Grab a sip of coffee here as we. This is going to be a pretty big unboxing. All right, so now we have another thick booklet here. So this is the must be the French or something probably. Yeah, it looks like either the French or Italian. Um, rules here. Maybe Italian. I think Italian. I think they might be Italian. I believe they're Italian. Uh, yeah. So it's just the same thing. And a different language. So there you go. All right. Now here's the game board. I'll, this is the regular game board here. It's pretty thick. Um, but I'll open that up and show that. At the end of the, and towards the end of the video, like I do normally, or the end of the uh, base game unboxing. So this is one of the boards here. So uh, let's see here what this is. This is the contract board. This is very thick. Actually, looks like it might open up. Yep. Okay. So again, this is double sided. This is one of the sideboards, I think. Um, so it looks like it's got, let's see if I can show it to you there. So I think it's got the turbine, this is where you're going to place your meeples and everything. So turbine station, water management, the, the bank, workshop, uh, machine shop, and finally the contract office right here where all the contracts are going to go. Kind of a little bit similar to pipeline, some of the stuff there. Some of the actions you can take. That's one side, and then this is. So it looks like this is just a one-sided board. So, but it's nice that they put all kinds of nice artwork on the back of this. So I'll show you there. Okay, so that's the board there, and the punch outs. Here we go. Oh yeah, these do look a little thinner. So these are the punch outs for the contracts, and yeah, these are these are pretty thin. Uh, more punch outs for contracts and stuff. And these look like the player boards. Oh, these are nice, though. The recessed player boards. These are one of your countries here. And again, you put your pieces and stuff in here, so it's recessed. I don't know if you can see it here, but it's got a little recession to it, so the pieces don't move around if you bump it, which is nice. And this is Enrico Olive. Let me check on him. Check on this a little bit here. So he's the Italian guy. So very nice. Um, this is Joseph Font. Oops, sorry. Joseph Fontaine. Pop filter fell off here. Hold on. That's Joseph Fontaine. And he would be from France. Yep. So he's right here. Okay. And then we have. That looks like a German guy, I believe. Yep, Germany. Pretty obvious of that. And his name is. A burst dazzler. Okay, and then finally, looks like the U.S. here. So the U.S. want board, and there she is, Marguerite Grant. Marguerite Grant. Yeah, looks like that. 
right? Let's see what else we get here. Lots of, yeah, these are very thin. They appear to be thin. These look like the player aids. I th yeah, player aids here, which is nice. So if I can focus in on one of these right here. So it looks like player aids for each one of the um, countries here. So it's got the basic general ones in, uh, up top, and then I guess the player special uh, actions. Down below here. Just to focus in a little bit. So, all right, so that allows for the asymmetrical start. So, so let me take one of these out. Yes, yeah, so I'm kind of thin, but I guess adequate enough. Okay, all right. And then these are some more of that. Looks like the money here. And then some of the other tiles you can acquire, I guess. But again, yeah, not not the thickest cardboard I've seen, which is a little disappointing, but I think it's adequate enough. And looks like some more action tiles. These may these possibly may be for the AI for action tiles. I think they might be, if I remember right. So it determines what actions the uh, the AI takes when you're playing solo. And these are definitely contracts here. As you can tell by the handshakes. And some more pieces you can put on your up top here. You put on your uh, rondel, your, your wheel there. So I imagine we'll get to the wheels pretty soon. But a lot of a lot of pieces. Another some more contracts. I think these are some of the assistants you can hire here. Get that to focus there. Doesn't quite want to focus, but get the idea. More gold and more actions you can take. Any purchase or possibly for your wheel. And yeah, it's definitely a lot of these. Do you like the punch out stuff? Looks like another person you can hire, assistant. And again, more pieces similar to the other boards. So I imagine the green are probably the easier contracts. The yellow, the middle, and then the uh, red, the harder ones. So these are probably the easier contracts. And Oh yeah, there they are back there. I didn't show the back, but all the backs look like this. It's weird how some of them are upside down. but <laughs> and These are the backs of the things you put on the wheel okay all right so more so looks like another person you can hire there you go now it's focusing somewhat better and again they have special unique powers looks like more AI tiles possibly and another contract not sure what the purple one maybe the purple or the hard, hardest ones Above, above hard maybe super hard. Let's look at the back of these. Yeah, these I think are the these got to be the AI tiles I would imagine. Oh, it looks like we have a piece that is coming out here, so I guess we'll take it out and show you. Yeah, so these go inside the wheels, the production wheels. But again, it's not terrible thickness. It's just not. I've definitely seen thicker. Um, again, I always compare everything to Pioneer Days, but actually, I think these appear to be thicker. Let me look at these. Let me compare these to the original. Yeah, I think these are what they are right here. So I think if I go to, hmm, see if I can find that other page there. These, this definitely appears thicker. This page, so maybe. Yeah, that's these are definitely thicker, so maybe that's 
I don't know if you can see, that's the thickness of those. And I don't have these same, I was looking for the same page, but it looks like they, here it is. Looks like they, they put it on the different pages. They put them all on one page. So if you compare that thickness right there to that thickness, it's, it's almost like double the thickness, it seems. So apparently, yeah, so that's good. So maybe that was the issue too, and they, they tried to solve it in here. So I'm not sure exactly. Um, but anyway, that's good. That's good to know. These are the thicker um, ones here. So it's nice to have both, but we'll definitely use the thicker ones. All right, looks like something fell out of here. But yeah, these are more of the thinner ones here, the contracts and such. But yeah, this fell out right here. So it looks like, like another player you can play as. So apparently these are bigger than I thought they were. So he's got some kind of robotic thing on him. finger in there sometimes that helps it focus no I guess not okay and let's see what we got here all right here these appear to be the uh, looks like another player board here not a player board I mean a uh, main board for action boards this this may be the AI track possibly or this may be a way to I think or possibly a way to get victory points yeah that's probably it through the different phases. Looks like there's five phases here. And I'll try to show you this all set up later. And then here is just the back of it. Okay. Alright, let's see. Yeah, the rondelles I think are gonna come out soon. Yeah, so these look like some more of the thicker thicker uh Parts you put in the in the uh, action circle there for the rondelle. Thicker. And this looks like another board patent office. So this is where you put your patents that you have to get. Here we go. Here are the wheels. These actually don't look too bad. I've heard that there are some issues with them warping, but these appear to be, you know, they they turn a little stiff, but. It's not too bad, I don't think. And it's not quite, let's see if I can show you. It's not quite flush here, but it doesn't turn that badly, I don't think. So what you'll do is you'll put your, for the action you want to take, you'll put your little, um, one of these if you have one in it. So let me just take one out here. You'll put one of these in it. And then you'll put your workers in it, and then you'll spin it around. And, and you have to buy actions and stuff. And once it gets spun all the way around, you immediately get your, your, your dam produced or whatever piece you're doing produced. And then at the end, when it spins all the way around, you take back your workers and everything. These don't appear too bad. Um, I can see where maybe... They don't touch the sides, though, right here when they spin. Um, so I think maybe they what they did is they get rid of this. Uh, from what I've been reading, they get rid of this, and then they made these right here touch the edges and maybe added a piece in here or something so it spins better, um, so it's not putting as much pressure on the piece right here. Because I can see after doing it for a while, it might it might break or warp or something. So anyway, that is that, and I think this should be four of these, I imagine. And they don't appear that bad, I mean... So there's a third one, and finally a fourth one. So yeah, so maybe they these weren't, I guess, the best quality, but they're not. They don't appear too bad. They appear usable anyway. So, but if we can get upgrades, we'll get upgrades. <laughs> okay. So now here are the pieces and everything. Yeah, these I, I guess they had issues with these. Uh, a lot of people did. And I guess I can see why. These are the water. Yeah, these are kind of weird. They're almost like, yeah, I don't really like these either. They're shiny, they're all right, but they almost appear like um, ones you use when you're making like a, I don't know, like a glitter, not glitter necessarily, but if you're making like a, um, uh, like if you're embroidering a shirt or something like that and you, you 
ones you put like glitter things that you put on there. They're a little thicker than that, but or you're making you're crafting, I guess, and you're making say like a glass something, and you want to glue things to it to like make it. Um, I don't know. <laughs> they're like little gemmy, but they're they're not they're not that great of quality. They don't appear to be anyway. So I can see why it'd be better off going with either wooden ones or. Yeah, you know, these don't appear to be the best. And again, they're hard to get on camera here, but yeah, there we go. But I mean, they're adequate, but yeah, I don't like them at all. I can see why people didn't like those. <laughs> but I think they're replacing those too, I believe. Uh, I can find something to replace those with. I got plenty of other games. I think I have some games with water droplets on. These are nice though. These are some of the uh, different types of pieces you have when you're building dams and whatnot. I'm not sure exactly which pieces they are. These are all the green ones, it looks like. So, see if I can get one of each out here for you. Just to show you. I think there's four or five different ones of these. Oh, these, these, are, cool. these are all right. These are supposed to be all unique. Maybe it. Alright, here we go. We get some of these too. Alright, so let's see if I can show you these. So that looks like your meeple worker there. So these are these are pretty cool. And again, they're all the same, just different colors. That's your symbol for your oh, symbol for your country there. This might be like a victory point thing. Um, yeah. Oops. And yeah, these are probably for victory points there. Once you go over a certain amount, for kind of tabulating victory points. But these are okay. I mean, not the greatest. I've seen better, but I've definitely seen a lot worse. So. I think it's just four different kinds. Yeah. So anyway, I'm not going to show you each color, but these come in the four different colors for the countries, and they're slightly different uh, for each country. So actually, maybe I will show you some of the some of the different countries because they are a little bit unique. So this is one of the countries here, and let's see, these are the black ones. Like plasticky, I guess you could say. I'm not sure exactly how these go. Maybe like that, maybe. And there's your meeple. Right there. So it's kind of like a gear, I guess you could say. And then this one. A little hard to see because they're black, but so I apologize for that, but. If I can show you a little close up. But they do the trick. Show you. Here, here. And here. So they're not too, too heavy. They're kind of light, like hollow. They might be hollow in between, but plastic. But they're, they're okay. All right, so the other two colors now, let's see, these are the pink ones, which is kind of an interesting color choice, but. All right, so this is kind of neat. These are kind of cool. And again, there you go. Meeple's there. And I didn't show you the ones in the other black one, but they're the same thing as for the victory points and everything. Oops. Like that one's cut a little bit, but for the hundred. And let's see if we can find the other the last one here. Uh, here you go. There's the one for that. It's like a production car. So they're all right. Again, nothing special, but not too bad. They're unique anyway.
And finally, the oops, these aren't them. Those are your workers. Should be one other color in here. Yeah, right here, I guess. So these are your white ones. These seem to come out really cool. The printing on them seems to be better anyway. So that one, not sure exactly how that goes, but maybe a dam. Your worker. Again, I'm not sure exactly how these go, but these are the different. These are nice and clear for counting your victory points. And for some reason that is a different color. I don't know why, but it is. <laughs> I don't know if they forgot to paint them or what, but they're all all these are a different color. And I think there should be one more. Let's see if I can find it. I got the round one here. Here we go. So right here. For some reason it's not symmetrical. But... Alright, so those are the damn pieces there and the different things you can build on your meeple. Alright, and then these. These are kind of small, but I'll show you. So these are your show you a few different kinds of them. These are very small, but uh, that's like your mixers there, your cement things. These look like your more additional, very small though. It's hard to show you there. And then here are your little uh, your workers. Actually, these are the mixers. They don't appear to be the workers at all. And there's a big one in here, too. So I imagine the big ones probably count, like, maybe as, like, multiple ones of the small ones. But that's the big one. That's the real tiny one right there. I'll show you there. And I think there's, a like, one in the middle. Actually, it looks like there might be, yeah, three different kinds, I think. And, yeah, the colors are different, too. For They might be different ones. So, yeah, so these are the different um, units you're going to hire or get to uh, to produce your uh, dams and other things involved in hydroelectric power. All right. So, again, these are adequate. These are decent. Like a, they're almost like a, like, I, don't, I don't really want to call them wood, but I guess they're kind of, like, they're almost plasticky. They feel a little plasticky. Maybe like a wood plastic, I don't know. <laughs> Just such a thing. All right, so, and of course, your tons of baggies that they have here. So that's it. That's all what's inside the box. This looks like it's a little bent right here. Not sure if that was meant to be or what, but not much of an insert, really. Just a little flimsy piece so I definitely see where it could have been um, a better quality so so all right so I'm gonna get on with this unboxing here um, I may just cut it here I think I'm gonna cut the video here um, as soon as I show you the board and then do the expansions in a in a separate video just because this video is 34 minutes long now and I don't want it to, don't want it to go too long so I'm gonna set up the board and show you that and then I'm gonna cut it and we'll leave the expansions and the um, and the 3D board to the next video. So, all right. So, let me find my find my mouse here. All right. So, I'll be right back with the board, and we'll end finish with that. All right, we're back, and this is the player board here. I mean, the uh, sorry, the main board, and uh, this shows you the water is up above here, and then they're gonna be gonna build dams. At each level here and others conduits and all kinds of other stuff and then down here you'll produce the uh you'll produce the electricity and everything um so yeah so you'll be able to do stuff like that the water will flow down um and then here are the other the boards on the side here set up here um your patent office board and then your oops and i forgot to actually i didn't put this all the way out so this board right here on the side. So it looks like that's about as long as the 
actual board itself. And then this, well, you know, put slide in there. And I thought there was another board here. Maybe not. Uh, maybe that was the one I was thinking about. Um, anyway, hold on one second here. I want to see if we can find that other board. It's all right. So this is the other board right here that I unfolded there. Um, so that's this is it all set up with everything on it. So it takes definitely, as you can see, it takes up a lot of table space. Um, and another thing I wanted to show you too is I put the uh, the wheel next to the board here. And as you, I don't know if you can see it here, but the wheel and the board here is a little bit warped. Um, so yeah, I can see where that's where they're complaining again. So maybe once it sits out for a little bit. Um, it'll fix that, but yeah, that's kind of a little bit of a disappointment. I can see what they were talking about here is these were a little bit, a little bit warped here. Um, so yeah, so you can see right here just by doing that, that they're not flush with the, with the board. So that's a little disappointing there. And as I feel these, the components, I can see why they had issues with them too. So hopefully, uh, they said they are going to replace the wheels and other things. So we'll see. Um, hopefully they replace uh, <laughs> these ridiculous things right here. These water um, pellets definitely could have gone a lot better than that. Even though, like I said, even wooden would have been better, or even cardboard I think would have been better than these. Yeah. So anyway, that is barrage the base game. Um, let me show you the box again to finish it up. So that's barrage the base game. And we'll be back with another video on the uh, Laywater Project expansion and the 3D game board. So stay tuned. Whoops. Stay tuned for that. So take care and God bless. Bye-bye now.